A Hole Productions. Behold the source wall. Behind it is the single greatest secret of the universe. This is as far as I dare to go. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Source Wall. And today I'm just gonna make a really quick video where I just go through my collection of McFarlane figures back there. I have them all on the shelf behind me. As you can see, I don't have every figure in the set. I think I'm missing Harley Quinn and Arrow, but that's on purpose. I just didn't want to own those versions of those characters. And I'm sure we're gonna get other versions of Arrow and uh, Harley Quinn at some point down the road. So I did skip those two figures, but I have pretty much all the rest for most part, maybe minus a few versions of Batman because I just don't want too many versions of Batman. I'm already getting all the evil Batman from the death metal and the metal storylines, so I don't really need any more beyond that. So we're just going to go quickly. I'll talk about each one. We're going to go down the wall and show off this collection and let me know what you guys think down below. And if you've been buying any of these, please let me know which ones are your favorites because I love this line. I do whatever I can. I, you know, I have my credit card. I make sure I make my payments every month. So that way, if nothing else, if I see a new figure part of this line, I can at least put it on my credit card <laughs> and get it. Uh, I just have to have these figures. They're so awesome. I'm such a McFarlane fan and I, I'm so excited to show this collection to you guys. So here we go. So we'll start off with the Trinity, the Holy Trinity of uh, DC characters, if you will. We have Superman. This is from Superman number 1000. Uh, I really like this figure. I like that it comes with the stand so he can fly. I think that's so freaking cool. He looks really great. The detail's amazing on him. Um, and then we also have Wonder Woman, though, but she's from the Gal Gadot uh, movie version. And I think this figure came out fantastic. I think she looks so great. I love the armor, the color, the paint job, the boots, the heels, everything. It's so good. And she's got her lasso of truth there in her hands. Um, she looks awesome, man. And so then we have Batman from Detective 1000. And I had to have that one too. That way I could have essentially the, the Trinity. Wonder Woman, she came out later. She like these. Batman and Superman came out in January. I bought them before I moved here to Florida. I bought them in California. But Wonder Woman, she was the first one I got when I moved here. She was a birthday gift to myself. And I'm so glad I got her. I got both versions of Wonder Woman. You'll see us get to the other version here in a second. But we got Batman too. So there we go. We got the Trinity. So that's it. Like when, and no matter what other versions of Batman they come out with, unless they're villain versions from Death Metal, I'm not going to get them. Because you'll see I have a few more versions of Batman here, but I don't have all of them. I just, I don't want to own. There's already, there's already making enough Batman content uh, through this series. Like we have, you know, different versions of Batman from different series. We have the Death Metal Batmans and the Evil Batman. So there's plenty of Batmans. I don't need the Arkham Knight version. I don't need the, or the Arkham Asylum version. I don't need any other versions of them. Um, but I did want to get Azrael, and this I owe to my brother. My brother actually found this, uh, him and my mom. They're pretty awesome. We've always kind of toy hunted together um, ever since I was a kid. Uh, you know, my mom would always go out with me to, uh, to Toys R Us's and KB Toys and all these toy stores that are out there, and she would help me hunt down figures I was looking for. So her and my brother still do that, and sometimes they just get me gifts and this was one of the gifts they got me. They got me Azrael. I was like, I really want him. And my mom was funny. She called me and she goes, she goes, uh, I go, hey, did you buy Azrael? She goes, oh, I, I couldn't remember if it, the guy you wanted to name was Azrael or, or um, Abraham. <laughs> and clearly she was pulling my leg. But I was like, and I knew she was joking. I'm like, mom, you're a terrible liar. She's like, all right, fine. We got you, Azrael. So uh, yeah, I love this figure. He looks amazing. And I think they're doing an Azrael version of Batman coming out. But I'm probably not going to get that one. I Like I said, usually I just like having one version of each character. But Batman, sometimes you got to make exceptions. And this one is one of those. This bat armor from the uh, the Pete Tomasi run of Batman, uh, from Batman and Robin, is so good. That's where Batman takes the hell armor and he goes and saves his son Damien from the planet Apocalypse. It's so freaking cool. So of course I had to have that one. It just looks awesome and it's different. It's a different armor for Batman. So, um, and it's from a specific comic that I love. So, you know, to me, I have the omnibus actually of Batman and Robin from Pete Tomasi, it's amazing. Um, then we have Batman Who Laughs. So again, a slight different version of Batman. It's a different character. Uh, this version is really creepy looking. I gotta say though, out of all the McFarlane toys, this is one of my least favorites. Um, the details there in the mouth a little bit, but in the suit and stuff like that and his kind of design and his overall like a uh, build and stuff he's very thin like he's more joker than bruce wayne like i feel like i don't know maybe he's not designed to be built like a tank he looks more like a scarecrow he's got this like crown of thorns on his head so i guess it's comic accurate but i don't know that the figure doesn't do too too much for me but i wanted to have it because if, at some point they're going to release all the robins like the crows um and there's another version of him coming out i think with like uh wings 
I'm definitely not buying that version. It's I, I have one version of him, and he's not a character that I'm super, like, I, I don't like the character that much in the comics. Um, he looks neat, and I like the crows that are with him, the robins, but um, I don't, beyond that, I'm not a big fan of the character. So, uh, but these I had to get. So I love the Just League animated series. I love the DC animated universe, uh, especially from Batman to Superman to Zeta Project, Batman Beyond, Justice League, Just League Unlimited, um, all those shows, Static, like, I love them all. So hopefully we get more animated stuff. I think they're going to do Cyborg from Teen Titans Go. I hope they do uh, more characters from Teen Titans Go. I'd love to see like Starfire and, um, and maybe Raven from that show. And I'd love to see more Justice League characters. I'd love to see Hawkgirl. Um, obviously, I'd love to see Wonder Woman in this style. And I know there's other versions of the animated characters out there that DC Direct made. But DC Direct apparently it doesn't exist anymore because of the recent layoffs. So um, it's up to McFarlane now. So hopefully he can make, you know, increase that, uh, you know, deal he has with DC. I think these toys are selling really well. So maybe we can get some more characters in here. So I'd love to see Hawkgirl. I'd love to see more female characters. If you notice going down this line so far, we only have <laughs> Wonder Woman. She's the only female character. Now granted, there's Harley out there that I didn't buy. She's also from the animated series, but I just didn't want that character or that, that version of the character. Um, I'm just not, I'm not a big Harley Quinn fan. And Arrow, I'm not a big Arrow fan either. I'd, I'd rather see um, a Mike Grell Longbow Hunter version of Arrow. So I'll wait for another version of the Green Arrow character to be made. Um, but yeah, I love that I have the animated series characters. Gotta have those. Um, and then we have Joker here from Arkham. Uh, normally I don't buy more than one character, but I don't have a Joker in this line. Actually, this is the first Joker they released in this line, and he's from the Arkham game. And he looks so great. I mean, I love the detail on him. Uh, the, uh, and the little chattering teeth there from the video game, which are great. You have to run around and like slice those in half. There's like a hundred of them or something in the game you got to get through. So uh, yeah, for that, I was like, okay, that's my definitive Joker. I'm any version of Joker that comes out now, uh, I'm not going to get him except for this one. I had to get this one. <laughs> but because he has a Jack Napier head, I have him as Jack Napier. So this is the Joker from the White Knight book that Sean Gordon Murphy puts out. And I love that book. Actually, that's one of the best Batman books on the shelf. Actually, it is the Batman, best Batman book on the shelf. I mean, uh, Detective by Pete Tomasi is good. I love Pete Tomasi, but it does pale a little bit in comparison to Sean Gordon Murphy's uh, White Knight series. Uh, but there's the Joker head, just in case. Um, but I'm not going to ever put it on. I like the Jack Napier head. It looks cool. That's the whole point of that book is that he's Jack Napier and he's fighting back against Batman. Then we have Superman from Unchained. Uh, speaking of Scott Snyder stuff, this is a, a Superman Unchained book that came out that uh, Jim Lee drew and Snyder wrote that I didn't really get into. I bought the first three issues and I didn't like it, so I, I decided not to buy any more. And then it was on sale in Comixology uh, at Christmas time for like $5.99, so I bought the trade and read it, and I actually really liked it. So, uh, so at some point on this show, maybe we'll talk about Superman Unchained, uh, maybe. But uh, the, the armor is so cool, and the design is great, and McFarlane's toy came out fantastic. So, yeah, armored Superman, I was like, eh, seems kind of silly, but I'm going to have it anyway. Um, but, yeah, then we have Jack Napier, then we have Batgirl here. Batgirl is really awesome. This version is uh, based on a cover from Sean Gordon Murphy. So, again, I love Sean Gordon Murphy's style, and this version of Barbara is really neat. It's uh, I gotta say though, because I'm such a fan of purple, <laughs> I I really like the version from uh, from the Burnside storyline. But I think we, there's already toys of that that existed, so I think you know McFarlane just wanted to do something different. But this is a neat Batgirl. I mean, unfortunately, if you knew Barbara Gordon, you'd be like, oh, and you came face to face with this version of Batgirl, you'd be like, oh, you're Barbara Gordon, because how can you not tell? Like, look how much of her face is revealed. Uh, but still, it's a cool design. It's based on a cool cover, so. I'm glad. And there's like a little battering down there and her grapple gun. Then we have Nightwing. If you got Nightwing, Barbara Gordon, and uh, the, the Batman Who Laughs down there, if you got all three of those, you actually got uh, this Batmobile. They came with three pieces and you put them all three together and you get that Batmobile. So yeah, there's some other figures I have. Uh, that Starman figure, that was the first gift I got post-brain aneurysm. Uh, my friend... Uh, my friend George gave me that as a gift, uh, that Starman figure. He said I reminded him of Starman. Um, so yeah, so you get if you get these two figures in the Batman Who Laughs, you can put together that Batmobile. But yeah, Nightwing in his blue. I know there's a two-pack coming out with Red Hood where he's in red. I really wish it wasn't a two-pack. I wish Red Hood was all by himself because I do not want to own two versions of Nightwing, and I certainly don't want to own a version of Nightwing 
where he's got red on his costume instead of the blue. The blue is a nod to Superman because the name Nightwing comes from Superman lore. So uh, I always like the black and blue. Plus, that's what I love about Dick Grayson is that he's the colors of the of your face after he punches you in the face. Because <laughs> after he kicks you or punches you, you're going to have a black and blue face. And uh, and that's the colors he wears. So I always thought that was kind of funny, too. He's, he's like a bruise walking around. Uh, so that's cool. And then, of course, the Gal Gadot 1984 Gold Armor Wonder Woman. She also comes with a stand that makes her levitate and look like she's flying. And so, yes, I had to have that version. And that was that version and the other Wonder Woman down on the other end. I got those for myself as a birthday gift in May of this year when they came out. So, yeah, man, I'm, these are awesome. I love this series of figures. And there's one more part of this collection. And that is this right here, the Bat Raptor. This is a uh, something I just recently added to the collection. I guess it came out in January or maybe in March or something like that. It came out earlier this year, but I've never seen it in person. And just recently I saw it at a Target and I put it on my credit card. It was only 25 bucks. You can put one of the Batman figures in there. It's not a full Batmobile. So hopefully at some point they design something that clips onto the front, like it's a separate vehicle, but maybe you can slide it on over the front and make a full Batmobile. That'd be pretty neat. Um, but I don't know if they'll do that. And then, yeah, see some of my Spin Masters. We'll, we'll talk about those in another episode. So there you go. There's my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, we'll definitely get into more death metal stuff. And I'll do a Spin Master collection uh, soon. You know, I have a couple figures that I haven't opened yet from the new series. And uh, I've been holding on to them for a while. So now that the new series is starting to come out more, like you can see them in more places. I think they're starting to pop up more in Targets and Walmarts now. Um, I only have been able to find a couple. I guess they were released a little early. So now that I have a couple, I'm like, well, let's just start opening them and we'll do a, a full collection video when I complete the second series. Uh, but we'll do at least these few figures and I'll show you the collection I have so far, um, you know, in the next episode or so. So uh, yeah, so these will be fun. These will be just like fun collection videos. Um, I've had so much fun doing those on Ghost Rider that I thought we should do more of those in other collections I have. So DC is a good place to start, so we'll do them here. So yeah, Spin Master Collection coming soon. Death Metal 3 review coming soon. And, uh, and we'll try to get more DC content out to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.